When Combiner Wars was announced, one of the big questions was, would they really take the Protectabot's motorcycle, Groove, and make him an arm and a leg that were just as big as the jets and the cars they were using for everybody else? The answer, well, Hasbro wasn't. Legends Groove is the compromise to fit him into the team while also not making him the same size as the APC. He's a stylized motorcycle, kind of futuristic in design, done in black and white plastic. In the middle, there's a lot of gray plastic, with the center of it being metallic. It's implying the engine and machinery of the bike is here, but there's hardly any molding to show, so that effect is lost. There's not much color to the toy, with gold for the windshield and some red on the rear section, where you'll also find an Autobot logo decorating a sheriff's star. The molding does have some nice touches, like the seat, some dashboard gauges, even a kickstand. Though the rear is so wide, he hardly needs it. Transformation on this guy is relatively simple. There's really no trick to it, there's nothing fancy. It's pretty much just open up the parts and there's your robot. Not a lot to say, really. In robot mode, legs! Two thirds of his height is all legs, and yes, it looks odd. There's more gray exposed here, but aside from the head, there's not a lot of new color or detail. It's not a bad head design either, now that it doesn't have to be shaped like a square peg. I like the windshield as the chest too. The gold brings in his G1 colors. So yes, obviously proportions are the issue here. The torso is very stubby and the legs are long, but we also have large feet and thin ankles and large wide shins. So he is strange to look at. Articulation works out though. Neck rotation, ball joints in the shoulders, elbows, and hips, thigh swivels, and 90 degree knees. The long legs do give that articulation plenty of room to move at least. I will say the midsection is supposed to peg to the windshield, but on mine at least, it doesn't quite work, leaving him loose in that area. Might just be the one I've got though. Then there's the combined mode. You remember when I called the Power Core Combiner's armor mode the better you than I mode? That's how Groove now combines to Defensor, forming a chest plate. It really doesn't look like he's adding much armor to him, and actually, including Groove makes him less accurate, since the built-in chest piece is how his G1 design looked. When he was announced as a legend, I was imagining some awesome rescue saw weapon with blades that came out of the wheel. But no, it's just a bullet sponge for Hotspot. Overall, he's one of the weaker Legends toys. The proportions are very strange compared to the rest of the size class, and it feels like a missed opportunity to make a really cool weapon mode. But I know someone who did even less. When we open tomorrow's present, one more Legends combiner to go.